voice effects, that little extra detail in your video that will give them extra spice. It will help you set mood or give viewers an extra information about what's happening. And before we go further in this video, this video is not about sound effects like farting and funny running sound, it's about voice effects. Effects apply to your voice in post-production and today I will show you a bunch of them which are basically drag and drop and if you like you can do more adjustments to them according to your taste. So don't worry if you don't own a professional audio setup with presetted voice changers, we can do all of this in post-production in DaVinci Resolve. These voice effects are really basic ones that came straight out of my mind, but at the same time I think they are the most used in the videos. So get ready your DaVinci Resolve and let's go. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve and let's start working on our effects. As you can see I have 8 tracks over here, we'll be focusing only on audio. So let's start with first effect which is chipmunk voice. So to get chipmunk voice you can go to audio effects and scroll down or search look for pitch. Here it is down there, it's ordered alphabetically so drag and drop your pitch on your audio track and you will get this pop-up window. So to get the chipmunk voice you can go with, with the semitones to the right and it's up to you how much you will add to your track. Sands are just fine tuning so if you want to more play with that feel free to do that and when you apply this effect you can hear how it will sound. In this audio record you can hear how the chipmunk voice effect sounds. Super easy and cool effect, almost as easy as pressing like on this video. Let's go to the second effect which will be adjusting pitch once again but on the other side which will create the deep voice, kind of like scary. So drag and drop your pitch on your audio and once again drag your semitones to the left, adjust it to how you will like it, you can fine tune it with sense and your deep voice will sound something like this. The other side of pitch knob sounds very deep, deep as bits of underworld where you will end if you use any of these effects without subscribing to this channel. Okay, and a demonic voice, I like that. For the next effect we are going to apply reverb, which is right under the pitch voice effect. So drag and drop your reverb. And here actually you have under this drop down menu you have a few options, like what will reverb sound. So something like in cathedral, in concert hall, small theater, studio. I personally, what I decided to choose is the plate, which I think it sounds a little bit like you are on the toilet. So maybe it's something like that might be useful for, for some kind of sketch. So let's select plate and that's basically it. You can play with those knobs over here, but my experience is that you don't want to do that. And also this is just a simple tutorial for really basic. So let's close that and let's listen how this sound effect will sound display the fact. This is very specific effect. I don't know how often you might need this one, but if you don't need this, maybe you can check other videos on my channel to see if you find something that will help you. Fourth effect will be a megaphone effect, which actually might be pretty much useful. Once again, for some sketches or for situations while gaming and you don't have that voice changer on your microphone but you can create this in post-production. Anyway, to create the megaphone effect you can search for or scroll for a distortion. So let's drag and drop distortion and to get this megaphone effect you will click this drop down menu and select megaphone. That's basically it, you can close it and let's listen how megaphone will sound. Megaphone effect is cool to send loud and clear messages, like the information that on my channel you can find more stream design and gaming video editing tips. Cool. <laughs> Next effect, we will stay in distortion. So drag and drop your distortion over to your voice over and 
Let's select Lofi Radio, which is another one that I picked for you. It will sound like a radio voice. So let's listen to that. This sound will be also very specific, but I hope you will find use for that. For example, to create radio spots with ads during gameplay. And if you need to edit it faster, I have a video just for you to speed up your editing process. Yeah, okay, pretty cool effect for ads and stuff like that. And we are staying in distortion with another effect. So drag and drop distortion. Another effect is fuss face, which I do call like an angry voice or tilted voice. So every time you scream or your teammate will scream, it's kind of funny and really simple to apply this effect. So let me show you how we will sound once applying this fuss face effect. With this effect will emphasize your angry voice, for example, when you get angry that you came to watch video with voice effects and I'm supplementing myself on my own video. Sorry, I'll stop. Yeah, this one might need a few subtitles maybe. And also I would recommend to lower your audio when you are applying this effect because it can be really not pleasant to listen to that loudly. Last one effect from distortion tab will be effect in drop down menu called boost meets but i personally like to call it a walkie talkie effect so every time you are playing like sketch and you are like with your teammate communicating on walkie talkie this is an effect for you streamer one to streamer two this is walkie talkie message to use as a voice effect i really don't know what more to say about that over cool and with that let's move to the last effect what it would be a video with voice effect without a robot voice so our last effect is a robot voice which you can find right here called flanger so drag and drop your flanger to audio track and from drop down select robo voice and let's listen to our robot voice effect how to better end up voice effects than with a robot voice if you need a less robotish voice for example for your stream alerts Maybe check this video how to simply set them with new stream elements alerts page settings. But these were 8 really simple drag and drop voice effects. Hey, I know there was a lot of self promo in this video and I'm happy if you made it through that over here. I just wanted to tell you that there are more videos on this channel that might help you and in return you can help me by subscribing to the channel. Anyway, that will be everything from me today. I will see you in the next video where...